Hello guys. Okay, there's my thingy. Um, let me check uh, that the board is perfectly shown and my camera. Okay, all good. I'm gonna have the chat open here to one side so I can read it when you when you start chatting. I have sound. Okay. But again, yeah, uh, there's a 15 minutes delay because I'm playing the uh, rated competition. So, yeah, I'm not going to be interactive with the chat or I'll interact like 15 minutes after you say anything. Anyway, one minute to start already. <coughs> it's round six of the Liches 960 League. Round six out of, I want to say eight. Yeah, I think it's round six out of eight. Uh, I'm one point ahead of the rest right now <coughs> with five out of five. I'm playing against Flocky the Cat, Flocky the Cat, um, Wong, uh, Season, uh, Season Nine, and then he's got a few podiums as well. Very, um, and he, yeah, he played a lot of seasons. Definitely a frequent uh, top player. And uh, yeah, here is our match. I'm playing with the white pieces. Um, and the current standings. Why is my screen so dark? Okay, better. Um, yeah, these are the current standings. Yay, five. Let's enjoy the first position while I can. There are uh, four players uh, on, on four points, exactly uh, like my opponent. And well, I'll play him. Anyway, oh, I shouldn't have closed that tab because that's the best way to find my opponent and send send them a challenge. Um, so I think I'm white, therefore uh, here, challenge. 20 plus 20, Chennai 60 rated, and I'm white. Okay, <coughs> let me close the other tab. And yeah, ready to go. Wow, 2300. His ratings, or their ratings, the ratings are very similar to mine, actually. Um, better bleeds than me. Hmm, interesting. And they play a lot of bullet. Okay. Um, they're online, so I'm waiting for them to accept the, the challenge. It's 20 plus 20, white rated. Yeah, I think it's fine. I think the parameters are okay. And we'll see. I think I play better as black. <laughs> I've done like last time I played white. I think it was the game that I hang mating one. I hang a piece in the opening, then I hang mating one, and I won. Yeah, I I, I think I I don't think I really deserve uh, to be on five out of five, but we'll see. Okay, my opponent. Um, Accept it. <coughs> Hi, you too. And uh, <coughs> it's my turn. Bishops, these are very, very normal. I think I'm going to play b4 just to start with. Uh, I need to keep an eye on that there. b4 or b3? I kind of like b4. Yeah. So the reason I'm playing b4 is well, the b pawn has to be moved. E no, no matter what, so I may as well play it already. That's like an easy choice. So, yeah, and because a rook is behind, I push it to b4. Um, not, not necessarily uh, the strongest idea, but okay. And I may castle short after that. Um, yeah, um, with b3, I could have aimed for long castle, I guess. Uh, the position is very standard. I want to say. There's this knight on c1 that may uh, have a hard time. Yeah, I thought about that and I thought, uh, well, my pawn is defended, so everything is fine. Um, if I want to castle short, I'm going to have to bring this knight out. Probably e4 is a good move here. Um, yeah, usually you play e4 in chess, in standard chess. Um, to develop this on <laughs> the diagonals, they're just reversed. Um, yeah, and if my opponent builds pressure here, I can always play a3. 
Uh, not saying it's the only move, but it is a move. And the bishop on e7 may be a bit in the way of the knights and in the way of things. But yeah, this is an undefended pawn. This is similar to standard chess. When you play 1e4, you're aiming to... You're ambitious, but uh, also the pawn is undefended, so some tactics may happen already. Like pushing this pawn now will attack the pawn, yeah. So, need to decide. There's f3, there's d3. d3 seems like the most natural move. Uh, any chance to sacrifice the pawn on e4? Don't think so. Um, so f3 may not be that bad. What else? Queen e2, ugly. Very ugly. I think I'm gonna go with d3. Is there anything wrong with d3? Yeah, just d3. Maybe try to develop in castle. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. This knight seems to be long there, but I'll need something to defend before uh, to prepare it. Yeah, d3 is a very, very slow move, incredibly slow move, uh, but it's also solid, right? It's not like very bad, and 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 I'm I'm trying to keep this bishop unleashed and and you know build stuff with my pieces on the dark squares and build a solid structure on the light squares that I think that makes some sense. <sighs> yeah. We'll see. Yeah. Um the other piece that's weird, I think these are the two weird pieces. <coughs> well the queen as well. <clears throat> yeah, so pushing the pawn makes sense for both of us just to develop the queen to the center, uh, towards the center, and you know, uh, be able to castle. Developing the queen to castle that's not that's something you do usually to castle long <laughs> in chess. In this case, we need to develop the queen to castle short. It's a bit funny, but yeah, after we both played b4, b5, I'm not expecting us to castle long. Uh, the pawn d3 is a bit slow, as I said, but in the future I may have c4. Okay, now everything changed, because my opponent is offering a bishop trade here. I was happy with that bishop on a1, and so the first idea that comes to mind is to grab space with e5, but that completely changes the picture. I think my opponent is happy to just go back with a tempo and say, okay, now your bishop is blocked by your own pawn, and my bishop is happier. So I see the point. I see the point. E5 is not a move I want to make um, without thinking. E5, bishop e7, a3, a5. My, my opponent can try to start being uh, aggressive there. Um, I mean, I could also trade and then go e5 and say, <laughs> yeah, that's not that stupid as it looks. It looks stupid. But I don't think it's as stupid as it looks. Uh, trade and go e5. Then knight d5, and then I have a hole on c3. So maybe yes, maybe that maybe it is stupid. Hmm. <laughs> what else could I do? I can't play d4. Um, yeah, so the decision is take or defend b4, or uh, if I'm allowing bishop takes a1, I mean, I think take is better than allowing bishop takes a1. So I think the question is between takes and e5. e5, bishop e7. I think e5 is probably the soundest move. It's not like the bishop on a8 is, is killing me or anything, right? So just grab this space that your opponent is giving you, then that pawn on e5 can be reinforced with other pawns, and as much as that kills my bishop on a1, well, I can't have it all. <laughs> uh, it still restricts my opponent's pieces, the, the, the knight on g8 especially, so 
so yeah, I'm going to go e5. And after bishop e7, uh, well, I need to see what happens after a3, a5, let's say. Um, yeah, maybe... Maybe I go c3 instead of a3. Maybe a3, a5, I have to go c3. And then my opponent goes c5. Um, well, a3, a5... If I go c3, a5, I can take on a5. If I go a3, taking on a5 is, I guess, possible, but maybe not ideal. Hmm. Yeah, I'm starting not to like this a lot. Hmm. What other options do I have? It would be nice to have some counterplay, but I'm thinking I, I will have bishop f3. I, I will be able to do the same my opponent did, except um, he won't be able to... They won't be able to, to push a pawn like I did, but on the other hand, I feel like now my bishop on d1 wants to be happier than just being traded. C3 is ugly. There's a chance I can go, let's say, a3, a5, knight, a2. But then there's bishop d5. And, well, bishop d5, I have c4, and takes, takes. My queen is defending the pawn. So maybe knight a2 is an option there. Yeah, I'm going to go a3 and see if my opponent uh, chooses to go for that line. And then I'm, I'm probably going to be forced to to do it because if I allow taking on before, uh, it comes. It even comes with a check. Let me check. Uh, it's ha it's not 15 minutes yet, so I think I'm not live yet. So my title, oh my title is updated on 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 the Twitch chat, but I think the stream is not live yet. Anywho, um, yeah, let's see what happens. And my opponent did a slight attempt with bishop f6 of uh, bringing a, a piece out. Um, but other than that, all of our pieces are on the initial squares, like we've been pushing pawns all around. Um, yeah. So, I'm a bit concerned about a5. A bit concerned about that move. Um, I went ambitious with with e5. I mean, it's an ambitious move in the sense that I'm uh, sacrificing development, but at the same time, it came with a tempo and it restricts. It will make uh, development slower. So yeah, I don't know. It's so hard to assess these things. They're 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 already hard in standard chess. <laughs> They're even harder when you can't back them up with theoretical knowledge. Okay, so a5. Knight a2. Maybe bishop d5 is not the only option. Maybe my opponent can go c5 too. Can go very aggressive. So a5. Um, I could also take again. I can take on a5, and if bishop takes a3... Oh, c5 instead. Okay. c5, I mean, it sort of has the same idea. I have to do something about uh, pawn takes uh, before. So knight e2 is my, <laughs> is my guess again. <laughs> Um, I mean, here I can take maybe, but then let's say takes takes a four, which would be the only way. Um, my opponent can easily defend against my threat of capturing that pawn if if they need to, but they can also push before. I don't know what my a four pawn is doing with with their life with its life, and then. All those bishops on c5 and a8 pointing at f2 and g2, I don't like that. So I think I'm going to try to keep 
I'm gonna try to hold that pawn before. But knight 2 is an ugly move. But I need to play something. <laughs> knight 2 um, I mean, I can play c3. You know, knight e2 is the kind of move you you need to back up with some calculation because the knight there can't be good. The knight on a2 can't be good. I think I'm going to just play c3. So let's say c3. Because I already committed when I played e5 to killing a little bit my bishop on a1, so I don't mind c3 in that aspect. C3, I'm worried about uh, a5 maybe, but again, I can play knight a2. But then bishop d5. Well, I need to do something. So it feels like c3 is more normal, right? I don't mind killing this bishop for a while. And this bishop is happier now. It has the flexibility now. Again, I'm not sure about trading it, although it's something I can do. But now it has also some other options, right? Um, even on b3 can help prepare knight 2 or support knight 2 So if takes, I th think I'm gonna take with the c pawn <laughs> to to make this bishop happier. I don't think I need a pawn c3. Uh, it, it 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 would be. An easy target after you know the c file gets uh, slide uh, semi open. So so I'm gonna take with the c pawn I think. Um, and now let's see if a5 happens. A5 happened. Okay. Now I do have bishop c3. It's probably the simplest, right? I have knight two two, but bishop c three, bishop c three. Uh, there's knight b six maybe to be concerned about. Knight b six is going to come to hit my bishop, and uh, in many ways, like rook c eight, knight d five, even knight a four. Uh, maybe knight b6, I have d4. Uh, well, life is tough. I mean, uh, e5 is not even under attack, so I can't even put the bishop on d2. Let's, let's do this. And uh, if takes, I think I'm going to try for the bishop trade, right? That's definitely my my worst bishop and my opponent's best bishop. I can't even take with the rook on b4 after bishop takes, bishop takes. So let's let's see. A takes before I don't know about the pre-move. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I take with the pawn and try to... Uh, choices. Choices. <sighs> Even rook takes is funny. Um, you know, like, because then those dark squares... But, you know, rook takes, let's, let's, let's not do that. Um, okay. I still have 14 minutes. I'm super duper fine here. Let's see. Um, bishop takes before. Bishop takes before. A takes before. Bishop takes before. Bishop takes before. Bishop takes Yeah, I think I'm gonna. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm. I'm just gonna do the sensible move. The question is what to take with, and I. I decided I'll take with the pawn. Keep it symmetrical. Uh, my a3 pawn is really ugly. If I leave it there. So, uh, Black's active play has been maybe not diffused, but. <laughs> 
neutralize for now. And I think now black has to decide how to develop the knights uh, to, to, to continue from here. I still managed to keep that pawn on e5. Hmm. And I have a bishop on d1 supporting knight f3. So knight f3, queen e2, short castle. I have like easy development and not not very big problems, I suppose. Aha, knight b6. So yeah, that's going to be a very uh, good looking knight on d5, right? Maybe you can go to a4 one day if if I'm not uh, if I'm not careful. But uh, yeah, it shouldn't be shouldn't be that bad. I mean, from d5 it also has access to c3, so I don't think it needs to go to a4 or to aim for it. Okay, so the questions, the questions, the moves I'm considering here are f4, rar. Uh, I mean, just support that pawn forever and probably never castle. Actually, I can still castle because uh, again, I traded dark square bishops. Actually, the more I think about it, the more I like f4. Maybe I can put the queen on f2 actually. Okay, f4 is there. The problem is after knight f3, uh, knight d5 hits f4. My queen no longer defends it. So, eh. Okay, and besides f4, uh, of course, knight f3. Very logical. Knight f3 and queen e2. There's going to be this knight d5 to, to f4. Hey, John Jong, Spain was eliminated today. You must feel crushed. I don't have no idea. <laughs> yeah. I cannot care less. Okay, um, so f4, knight f3, uh, bishop f3 also, it's still there. Super safe maybe to try to, to, try to go for a draw. <laughs> um, but I don't want to trade the remaining bishop because I always have dreams of a knight versus bishop endgame. So knight f3, um, knight b3, no knight b3 hangs <laughs> b4. <laughs> Uh, I can play d4, d4 to have the d3 square for my knight instead of b3. But it, yeah, it creates so many weaknesses. I think I'm going to just go with knight f3. Knight f3, most logical move, right? If there's nothing wrong with it. I don't see anything wrong. So knight f3, queen e2, short castle. And I need, yeah, with the queen on e2, I'm going to have to be careful with knight e5, knight f4, which may be annoying. Um... I, I assume 95 is going to happen here, and then, uh, yeah, and then maybe queen e2 is 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 not easy to do. Oh, I should have played d4 first. No, it's, it never minds. It doesn't matter. 95 anyway. Yeah, the position doesn't look uh, doesn't look beautiful, honestly. Not sure what to do against knight e5. Like, uh, it's gonna be hard to castle. It's gonna be hard to, uh, yeah, like, um, you know, knight c3 is happening. If I play knight e2 to prevent it, uh, well, then there's no queen e2. Um, yeah. This is starting to, to, to be ugly. I should have gone with I should have gone with f4. Well, I can still play d4, trying to bring my queen to a better square. Although on d3, it's also subject to those uh, f uh, knight f4 ideas. I can prevent it with g3, but a g3 feels like suicide to me. Also, there's a threat of knight c3 right now. <laughs> I forget about that. Yeah, knight c3 is sort of a threat, right? I need to stop knight c3, don't I? I can play king d2, rar. King d2, um, knight a2, knight e2, of course, uh, rook b3. Man, this is ugly. 
ಆಗಲಿ ಓಕೆ ಹೌ ಪಾರ್ ಈಸ್ ರುಗ್ ಬಿ ಥ್ರೀ ಹೌ ಪಾರ್ ಈಸ್ ರುಗ್ ಬಿ ಥ್ರೀ ಇಫ್ ರುಗ್ ಸಿ ಏಟ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಕಿಂಡಿ ಟು ಔರ್ ನೈ ಏಟ್ ಟು ಅಟ್ ದಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಕಿಂಡಿ ಟು ಇಸ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ನೋ ದಟ್ ಸ್ಟಿಯೋ ಪಿ ರಮಿಂಗ್ Okay, let's, let's, I, need to, I need to start moving pieces. So I'm going to put this on the board. Oh, wait, I'm hanging the Ponging Wang. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot about the Queen. I thought Knight C3 was the threat to be... Oh, my God. Knight takes B4 now. Oh, wait. Knight takes B4, D4... E4. Okay, I need to find a fast move. This is a psychological moment. So my opponent is thinking, saying the usual thing you would think is, 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 is there a trick? So after night takes before I need to play a fast move just to scare him. So night takes before D4, knight C6, I take on B5. Okay, so night takes before Yeah, actually, d d4, d4, bishop d5. Okay, let's play it fast and see what happens. <laughs> bishop d5, rook c3, or rook b2. Don't try this at home. You shouldn't play fast. You should play well. <laughs> um, damn. Yeah, let's keep the rook on the b file. Uh, let's keep the rook on the b file. So the knight uh, remains pinned. I don't know how to use it. There's bishop c4, bishop c4, bishop e2, and I still... Uh, still fine, I guess. Bishop c4, bishop e4. Bishop e4 is nothing, right? I have my knight on c1 defending. Maybe, maybe rook c8. Maybe rook c8 attacking my knight. Oh, but I can attack also with queen takes b5, right? Uh, rook c8, is, uh, yeah, nothing. So bishop c4, bishop e2. I like that. Um, d6 this, this hangs the knight. Knight h6. I mean, if my opponent wants to keep bringing pieces, it has to be knight h6. Like, everything else is like... At least uh, Black's pieces are a bit tight to doing things. Like maybe the bishop on d5 is not tight, but I don't see any any idea for it. <laughs> um, and on the plus side, the knight is no longer on d5, and it's never going to get there anymore. So I can play queen e2 and castle. <laughs> like I couldn't before, but now I can just for the for the price of a pawn. Okay, you develop, I develop, and I'm going to castle. Let's go. Oh, knight f5 may threaten bishop takes f3. But then all those knights on d4 and b4 are hanging. Like, let's say knight f5 uh, castles. Uh, bishop f3, queen f3, knight takes d4, queen g4, or queen e4. Well, I guess the knights can defend each other. Oh, bishop c4. Oh, there's no bishop e2 now. Damn. <laughs> I guess queen d2? Only move? Let's play it. <laughs> oh my god. I think I'm gonna get destroyed <laughs> very soon. Uh, this is super ugly. Uh, hello, Arminius. Um, okay, you're gonna hear that when when i'm uh, you know in 15 minutes from now because there's a 15 minute delay let me type in the chat uh the title delay 15 minutes so you're aware um yeah Oof, after bishop c4, well, now I guess the knight moves. Now knight e5. Ah. 
I, I messed I messed up so badly this one. Yeah, and I said, I just said, I literally just said the knight will never go back to d5. Okay, at least now the queen is on d2, much better than on f1. So there's no knight, knight f4 anymore. Uh, but I'm a full pawn down. I don't see any compensation here. And uh, yeah, no more pressure on b5. I guess bishop e2 here. <laughs> hey, future Pepe. Hello, Jean Jong. Um, bishop e2, bishop e2, right? Bishop e2, and if takes if takes I take with the knight and I'm ready to castle I don't want to trade bishops though but look at that bishop on c4 I think I should be looking for that like where where do I even put a knight to attack that bishop there's no knight coming to a3 or e3 or anything ah uh, Okay, yeah, it is It is what it is. Life is tough. Let's castle and just be a pawn down. I mean, it's... It... <sighs> if I get to trade pieces, that pawn on b5 slash b4 or whatever the pawn gets pushed to, um, if we trade all the minor pieces but we still have the, the heavy pieces, uh, I may just block it and and survive and draw. Problem is d4 is weak too, like you know maybe on a slightly different pawn structure. <sighs> okay, I guess my opponent will bring the queen out now. Queen e7 would be my guess. This queen a3. This not a5, not f5. I'm totally gonna castle now. <sighs> Okay, queen a3 doesn't come with any threat, except maybe queen a1, so I should castle. Um, but yeah, queen e7 also castle, and if knight f5 also castle. I think I can pre-move castling, because I don't see any, any... Okay, I guess... Yeah, I could pre-move it. <laughs> I don't see any threat, that's what I mean. Maybe f6 would have been a problem if I castle. Anyway, so let's castle. I'm not hanging any tricks, right? I don't see anything. Queen on a3 seems active, but I don't see anything. So let's castle. And I think my opponent is going to probably castle too. Seems like a, a good moment to do it. Unless I hand something, but c3 is covered, so there's not even queen c3 or anything like that. b4, he may try. I don't know. Well, he's thinking. I don't have any. I mean, my position is bad. I don't. I don't think. I would totally castle if I was black. Like, you know, <laughs> it's not, nothing can be wrong about it. Um, yeah, he's looking for some. Some threat. I don't see anything concrete. Yeah, of course, I'm, I'm gonna play rook fb1 very likely, but I think that that pawn is surviving. Maybe it's not surviving. Uh -huh. Maybe my opponent doesn't have time to, to, to double rooks. Okay, well, he's doing it because uh, anyway, you have to do it, right? And now rook fb1, right? Let's put it on the board. I mean, before it's happening, <laughs> maybe after rook fb1. Oh, and then I need to, to be careful with knight c3. I was going to say, um, I have to do it anyway, but maybe I have other options. Maybe I have rook a2. Okay, how about is rook fb1, uh, b4? Um, You have a perfect blockade on c3. I mean, I'm seeing ghosts with knight c3, but I don't think there's any ghost. And worst case, I can play h3, so there's no back rank issues. And yeah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. It's just a pawn down. It's a story of our life.
I won the Halloween Gambit Arena today. I think 100% victories. So if I can play a piece down, <laughs> I can play a pawn down. So my mind is really fresh because I'm, I have a, a day off at work. So, uh, or so I thought. I thought it was fresh, but look at this position. Okay, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm feel fine. I think I can probably do some good calculations in the game, hopefully. So I want to play h3 next, probably. Well, I'm expecting a b4 or something defending on b5. That that has to be the queen because I don't believe on knight c7. So yeah, either a b4 or or um, or queen queen back queen a4 queen a6 um do i have beef no never mind i was thinking before maybe i had rook a2 maybe that queen was in trouble yeah okay so queen a6 on the board which is a very logical move and now what do we do i have a perfect blockade on d3 can I just go for p traits? Let's say nice e3. Or knight e4. Knight e4 is slightly more active, but do I really want to go active in this position? <laughs> can I really claim? Can I really have any claims for activity? Um, if I go d3, I mean queen d3, Queen d3. Am I winning my pawn back? I think with my back rank the way it is, it's it's very risky because whenever I take on b5, then rook takes b5, they have to take with the queen. Oh, there's some nice c3 tricks, maybe. Mm. Yeah, I don't know what to do. So, when you don't know what to do, you play h3, right? <laughs> and now, yeah, b3 is it's mine. The b3 square is mine, so I'm not super worried about the pawn push. Uh, I also have 91 maybe ideas, 91 to d3 to c5. I need to somehow make make use of this pong structure that I have advanced. And and that's that's the thing I don't like about trading pieces. Is I put the pong on e5 and d4, and uh, the more pieces I trade, uh, the weaker it's going to be. 95. Okay. Is there a threat? Like d4 is defended twice. I mean three times. I'm, I'm not. I'm not counting the queen usually because I want to move it. I want a queen g5 or. Um, okay, not f5. I don't know. Yeah, I guess it's better on f5 than on h6. That's a good point. But if I go g4, nah, that's too crazy. Um. Yeah, now it's harder to make the plan I just said of knight 193 in the middle of the queen and the pawn. 91, 93, 95, that's, that seems like too much. Maybe on c2, maybe knight 91 to c2. <laughs> aiming, aiming for the b4 square. Oh, or 93. Nah. I guess I guess I guess I'll go knight f4 here, <sighs> getting some trades on my terms and playing for some, you know, because I don't like my my pawns being weak on d4 and e5. Yeah, let's try that. Let's try it with some tactic ideas. After takes takes, d5 is an idea to uh, liquidate uh, that center. Um, try to or or. 
or push to d6. I mean, whatever, whatever my opponent lets me. Um, but yeah, with the with the knight on f5, I have that kind of idea. Also, the queen there is always tricky. And let's not forget, I have rook b3 anytime because the b3 square is mine. <laughs> so what I'm saying is, you have the if I have the queen on f4 or g4 or g5, and I can bring a knight to g5, let's say queen h4, knight g5, or queen g4, knight h4, if I bring two pieces to the attack and then there's a rook that can potentially appear on g3, um, I can I can maybe justify actually that pawn on e5, building an attack. Uh, the queen on a6 is not coming to the defense uh, soon. It's a block. I have a blocked uh, advanced center, so so it makes sense to to try to try to go for a bit of an attack here. Uh, but it feels over optimistic to me. But uh, yeah, let, let's. It, it may be my best shot because otherwise I'm just upon down suffering. Yeah. Okay, what's going to happen now? Um, rook f c eight. I could go crazy uh, with with g four. <laughs> uh, see where the knight. I think the knight on f five is a good defender, but on the other hand, it's a bit subject to these d five tricks. Mm-hmm. Maybe just play rook b3 or rook b3 is maybe just wasting a tempo. Well, let's see what my opponent plays. I'm I'm thinking of rook fc8, but uh, there are different. Maybe rook fc8 is a bit weird because you weaken f7. Yeah, actually, rook fc8 g4 would make sense because of knight g5. Then. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, rook fc8 may may about maybe a bad move. So what? Um, d5 maybe. <laughs> maybe I want to place d5 here, trying to weaken my d4 pawn and go for a queen trade. It's funny how they recapture defense b5 again. Ah, but d5 I don't need to do anything. Just keep building an attack, right? D5. Let's say uh, d5 g4 r. Uh, I like the rook b3 idea. But it feels uh, maybe too optimistic. Okay. D five. Uh, yeah. Yeah, actually, I'm, I'm considering g4 against a number of lines. g4, my opponent has to go either back to h6, which is incredibly ugly, or e7. And e7 to g6 makes a lot of sense, but I can... Oh, we gotta follow Albin Sajang. Thanks for the follow. I, I, I have a delay here. Thank, Thank you. For the follow uh, stream is delayed. <laughs> FYI. Okay. Ninety seven. Ah, it's going to D five anyway. Right. Uh, but again, uh, let, let's see, how, how do we build, uh, or oh, oh, maybe to g6, maybe it's going to either d5 or g6, and it's definitely not subject to those tricks anymore. So how do we build this? Mm. Rook b3, knight d5, queen h4. I could go queen h4 directly, um, but maybe then the knight goes to g6, instead of d5. So rook b3, knight d5, queen h4. The idea of queen h4 is to prepare knight g5, knight e4, knight g5 to e4. And actually, if I get knight g5 to e4, my pawn structure on the center may be awesome. So 
So I could go knight g5 directly, but... Uh, Yeah, rook b3, h6, maybe. So maybe I have to start with knight h, uh, queen h4. If queen h4, knight g6, uh, queen h5, maybe. So if I start with knight g5 directly, my knight can come to e4. So how important it is to have the knight? Because as nice as it is to have rook b3, so whenever something happens on the king side, I have the rook already uh, ready to go to, to g3. Maybe my opponent instead of well can do knight d5, let's say with the tempo, and then h6 next. Or h6 directly. And then I don't have this maneuver. And so my question is how important it is to have the knight on e4? I think it is important, right? So I should do it immediately. If queen h4 something wins a tempo, then still h6 there. So queen h4 doesn't really win a tempo if my opponent can win the tempo back. So I think I'm gonna go knight g5. Well, I guess I need to be careful with uh, the moves that control e4, like f5, <laughs> f5 or d5. Well, d5, I don't believe it. I can take on h7. f5, I can take on f7 as well. Okay, knight g5. Let's go. Let's go. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Queen h4 is sort of a threat, or queen e4, um, but I assume my opponent is not going to just wait here. Well, I guess knight g6 would prevent queen h4. Yeah, knight g6 maybe not that bad. h6, h6 is the most natural move to me. h6 or knight g6, knight g6, queen e4. Uh, knight g6 if queen e4, um, h6. Yeah, I don't think I want to use the e4 square in that instance because I really want that square for the knight. So if knight g6, I should put the queen somewhere else. Uh, could be queen g3, but that undefends d4. I don't know if that's a problem. Or else queen e3 or queen d2. Oh, knight d5. I did not expect that. Can he get away with this so queen e4 g6 queen h4 h5 is that my my opponent's plan or f5 queen e4 f5 queen e4 f5 and uh, wow that would be ah uh, that would be too sharp for my taste but i have a rook defending f2 already so that's good so yeah, what I'm thinking is queen e4, f5, if I take ampassant, knight takes f6, and my opponent is active, um, breaking up my center, and also opening the f-file towards f2, super sharp would be, um, and h7 would end up defended, so, wow. If I go queen h4, I mean, alternatively, I can go queen h4, I guess f5, I cannot prevent it. Uh, so let's say queen h4, h6, knight e4, f5 still. But then I have knight c5 or knight e6, which may be exactly what I want. Uh, I don't really want to take on passant, but if I go queen e4, if I go queen e4 now, uh, f5, I have to take on passant. I mean, there's queen h4, but h6, and I don't have knight e4 anymore. Uh, so, so yeah, let's go queen h4, so I ensure that my knight goes to e4 after h6 that I'm expecting here, and, uh, and now f5 I can ignore it, well, I can put the knight somewhere, I mean, yeah, I like this uh, better than the other line, um, and, uh, I got more or less what I wanted. Uh, my opponent managed to defend well, and and that's a powerful knight on d5, still a pawn up. But I found a way to to have the pieces where I wanted them. Like okay, maybe the queen on h4 is not the the most the best place, but now I may bring a rook to g3, um, 
and my night is awesome now uh, my now my night is completely justifying that that central punk structure those jumps to d6 and and c5 made uh may be good at some point especially after f5 if my opponent plays f5 now yeah i could also trade i guess trade all down but Let's see. Uh, totally want to play rook b3 next. Um, yeah. Need to be careful. Uh, <laughs> let's say if if I don't have an attack, I do. I think I do have an attack. Like queen takes h6 would be a threat, for example, a very, very strong one, and some threats on. Whoa. Okay. Never mind. Let's forget about that. I was maybe I showed the line at the end because. I, I, that totally surprised me, and now I need to think. Um, yeah, my opponent definitely interested in, in opening the F-file. Uh, I guess rook b3 now, still playable. I think rook b3 is still playable, right? I don't see this to be a, a, an incredibly strong threat and if he goes f5 i mean he, he could have gone f5 in one go okay so i follow i follow my plan i think for now and i think uh, black needs to take now on e5 opening the diagonal against f2 also rook b3 and defended f2 a little bit um but yeah not just to open the diagonal but oh oh that's sharp should i play rook one to b2 and hide on h2 Oof. I think so I think I'm gonna do that there's no problem right I mean I can always repeat here I can always repeat. Is there a problem? Must I play rook b1 or king h2? King h2 takes, takes. I guess that queen is active on a1. I'm, I'm, the move I'm most worried about is is uh, some queen e1 at some point, but I have rook e3. I guess the main point of my opponent is as long as the queen is attacking my rook on b2, I'm not going to have rook g3. Unless I threaten mate. So king h2. Takes, takes. Let me see. If I go rook b1, maybe my opponent repeats. I'm, I'm, I wouldn't be, I mean, I'm a pawn down. Oh, I hand d4 if I go rook b1, right? I know, my opponent can't take because he loses the queen. Oh, but he can take, no. The, the queen is attacked. So rook b1, queen takes d4, I have knight takes f6. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to repeat at least, at least once. <laughs> uh, and if queen a2, uh, yeah, let's repeat again. Should I take the draw? Should I take the draw? I think it's a good result given the, the, the circumstances. Hmm. Now, uh, Flocky is thinking as well whether to go for the draw or not. I played rook b2 fast, so I'm I'm sort of hinting that I may go for the draw. But, um, although I also usually like to do that, to <laughs> repeat a second time fast and then, and then move something else. Um, yeah, I think I have, uh, I don't know, I like my attack, but on the other hand, it, it all feels suspicious. My king is safer, on the other hand, right? My king on h2? If, if, yeah, maybe 
I can prepare rook g3 with just rook d2 first or rook e2. Rook d2, rook d2. But that, oh, okay, never mind. That's uh, irrelevant right now. <laughs> That's irrelevant because my opponent wants to kill me. So, okay, that queen is, is ready to go to e1. But, uh, okay. So let's say rook g3, queen e1, king h2. Uh, I'm going to go there, right? My threat is, well, I think, I think my biggest threat is queen takes h6. Um, so queen e1 checking h2, uh, I suppose was my opponent's idea, but we'll see. Maybe, maybe black just defends. But how do you defend against queen takes h6? You go like king f7, there's an d6 check. King h7, there may be queen g4 ideas. Or take on f6, and if you take with the knight, there's knight g5. Yeah, I'm actually liking my my position now, at least from... Uh, I'm liking my attack. <laughs> I, may be, I may be lost, but <laughs> I'm liking my attack. This is what I wanted. This is... Uh, this is the kind of... play I wanted to look for when, when I was trying to... When I, when I started with knight f4, I was dreaming of something like this. And I completely missed Queen A1. Thankfully, it works, right? Queen A1 check. <laughs> I completely <laughs> missed my rook there. Oh, yeah. But it works, right? Queen A1 check, King H2, Queen takes B2, Queen takes H6, uh, Rook F7. What happened? Oh. Uh, no, I didn't see it, I have to play, oh. so king h8, king h8, okay, so take on f6, it's one option, right? Let me think. There's queen g4 as well. Uh, I can go rook bb3 and be safe. And and get ready to... Ah, if I go rook bb3, I'm also threatening rook takes g7, right? Yeah, let's bring them all. I'm I'm gonna chill on h2. Ah, now rook bb3. Uh, my opponent could if it could take on d4 because there's no longer. I mean, I don't believe it. <laughs> I don't believe it. I'm playing by intuition this attack now. Rook bb3 seems like the move Morphe would do. Rook bb3. Okay. Um, I can go king h2 as well. Uh, Bit slow, right? It's better to react to a check. Yeah, let's do that and think later. Like, you know, at least now it's defended. And rook takes. Oof. Is rook takes g7 winning or. or, or not? Rook takes g7, check. I have 96, right? Mm. Oh man, it's so tempting. So rook takes g7, king takes g7, rook g3 check. 
If king f7, I have mating one. But king h7, knight g5 check, king has to go to the g file, and I, I guess I can repeat there. I, mean, I give a rook, but I may have a perpetual. Maybe I don't have anything better than that. I can play rook g6 and and try to bring the other rook instead. Rook g6 hinting at some sacrifice on h6. Yeah, I okay. Let me let me think again. Rook takes g7. King takes g7. Rook g3 check. King h7. The knight is covering e7. It's such a problem. And rook g6 doesn't work. And queen h5 is too slow. Okay, I'm I'm running down on time. I'm gonna play rook g6. I'm trying to create threats and bring all the pieces in. So I'm gonna bring the other rook to g3. <sighs> Maybe my opponent can go queen check and queen c1. Queen check anywhere, I mean a1 or e1. And then queen c1 to defend h6, because queen takes h6, I mean rook takes h6, it's a big threat right now, right? That's why I put the rook on g6. King h7. Whoa. Okay. 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 So rook takes g7 is still a draw, because it transposes. But now rook bg3. Uh, seems really strong, right? Bg3. My opponent has to defend um, g7. And, and uh, I'm hoping to have something with my knight. I can play queen g4 too. Oh, actually, queen g4 is very strong, isn't it? The other rook comes, but then I can take on h6. Oh, that's beautiful. If rook f7. Queen g4, rook g8, rook takes h6. That's beautiful. Queen g4, what else? How do you defend g7? Queen g4, right? Queen g4. Queen g4, queen g4. Let's go, queen g4. I don't see a defense, so so let 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 my opponent think. Um, so I'm threatening that. And this wins, right, on the spot. Yeah. Whew. GG. <laughs> Buena partida. He's saying, I don't know if there was a way to save that, but I didn't see anything. Uh, 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 Dama jaque. Y dama c1 para defender h6. En vez de zorro f7. Después de zorro g6. Okay, um, so let's go to the analysis board. Oh, I think that's a different chat, right? 
Yeah, that's a different chat. So I'll that's a problem. If I can go can I go back and still have the chat with my opponent? No. <laughs> okay, so if he's saying something but he he would see I'm no longer there, so that's fine. Yay, I won a game. That was a tough game, I think. Uh Probably. Okay, a computer analysis has been, must be ongoing. Yeah, because I saw zero mistakes. <laughs> I saw triple zeros and I'm pretty sure that was not the game. <laughs> so the game analysis is still ongoing. Look at that. Was Black winning all the time? No, this is a weird graph. I sh White should be winning at the end. I think Liches is broken. But yeah, it looks like around here, can I refresh this so it shows that, I'm gonna refresh the page, see if I can get the proper computer analysis. There it is. Yeah, wow, look at that. So King H7 was the blunder. Let's see if, if it's correct what I, told my opponent about queen check and here I thought queen check and queen c1 but maybe it's not enough computer suggests rook f7 let me ask stockfish yeah rook f7 wow stockfish likes black actually after rook f7 well I mean black is still a pawn up and queen a1 check h2 stockfish still thinks rook f7 ah no queen c1 there it is there it is so that was the right defense rook bg3 wow the computer likes rook a8 what I was thinking rook f7, but for some reason the computer doesn't like, oh, rook f7, knight d6. And then after rook e7, rook f3. Queen f4, there's queen f4 too, look at that. Yeah, queen f4 seems uh, very natural, yeah. I didn't even see queen f4. When I thought of queen c1, I was thinking on, only of defending h6. Uh, computer still likes white though. Huh. Wow, all my pieces came. That was that was a perfect example of an attack. And in the opening, wow, look at this. Here I was in very bad shape. Minus four. What the actual <laughs> with the move, bishop d5, yeah. Ugh. Yeah, so instead of losing the pawn. Well, I guess 95 is winning the pawn anyway, no? Ah, well, I had 92, yeah. Yeah, I had to play 92 or 92. Or d4. Yeah, but rook b3 was just stupid. Well, rook b3 is there. <laughs> um, it disappeared now. <laughs> I think rook b3 is a stupid move. Okay, so the computer, however, it's not defending the pawn. 92 is only here. And the computer is giving away the pawn. Could I? Whew, how did I get to this position? Where was my mistake earlier? So the computer didn't like bishop c3. Oh, I thought it was a good move. The computer wanted 92 here. Right. <laughs> This is why chess 960 stuff. All right, so that was a problem. Here there's another problem with knight f3. Ah, yeah, I hated knight f3 as soon as I did it. And in fact, f4 is there and bishop f3. I didn't want to trade the bishops, but as it turns out, I had to, I was forced to later on and it would have been better to trade them here. And f4 is a good move according to the engine. I guess the follow-up should be bishop f3 because I really didn't want to block the defense of f4. 
but I guess with a bishop trade would make sense. Anyway, f4 was playable. Knight f3, the computer doesn't like it. Yeah, I got into a really bad position there. Then my comp my opponent made a mistake taking on e2. So rook c8 is proposed. Yeah, let me turn the engine off. It's minus three already, what? Okay, let me turn the engine off, but I, I'm still going to look at the computer's uh, suggestions there from the analysis. Yeah, rook c8. Pretty sensible move. Oh, actually, I didn't like queen e2. Let me, let me see that moment. So I wanted to meet bishop c4 with bishop e2. So here, instead of queen e2, computer is suggesting queen e2. <laughs> Queen e2, best move, minus 3, rawr. h3, yeah. h3 was another move here, I guess. But yeah, I have to get the queen out, and e2 is the only square. So I guess it made sense, queen e2. Wow, it's almost minus 4. Damn. Let's stop looking at that. <laughs> queen e2. Uh, bishop c4, queen d 2 95. This is minus one point. Wait a second. It's my opponent making mistakes here because bishop c4 looked strong. Let me look at these moves with the engine. Knight f5, queen e7. Okay, bishop c4 apparently not as good. Forces queen d2. 95 best move. Yeah, this is awesome for black. So the computer analysis didn't like bishop takes e2, just rook c8. And after bishop takes e2, Knight takes e2. Okay. Playable, I guess. Queen 3 castling is fine. Castling is fine. Rook fb1 is fine. Queen a6 is fine. Could I trap the queen if b4? Rook a2. Nice c3. What? Look at that move. Knight c3, and if rook takes a3, knight takes b1, taking it all, taking two rooks, and also this pawn is getting closer to promoting. Wow, knight c3, that would have been a great save. I thought the queen was trapped there. Okay. Um, <laughs> queen a6, h3. Okay, let me turn this off and again, and yeah, I guess the play wasn't that bad until my opponent blundered. I, I I kind of think if maybe my opponent had a better way to, to avoid all this attack. I really like knight g5. I think that was the right call. Knight g5 to e4. I really like this. Aha, a computer doesn't like f6. Queen c6 instead. Okay. Rook b3, I loved it. Nothing wrong with 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 king h2, right? Okay. Okay. So rook b1. A point is this hangs the queen. So so d4 is not hanging. And Brought that there, yeah. And here I, I I got a bit lucky, I think. Uh, Ajedrecito, thanks for the follow. Uh, sorry, I have a delay because I just finished my match. Um, yeah. And Hugo, thanks for the follow as well. Uh, how do we finish black here? Because it feels very 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 strong but is it so i can take with the pawn but queen takes d4 will defend by x-ray except it doesn't so i can take with the pawn yes or i can take with the knight taking with the pawn threatens mate in two basically um and if you take here i mean what else do you do here to, to, to survive if you run it's mating one 
and if you take take uh, if you take its mating one and if you move this is the way um, I may have check and take yeah maybe that's not that bad I can also take here and after takes queen check rook takes check queen takes check yeah I think that's the line takes well this king is seven here maybe to survive uh and okay okay guys um no yeah I'm done with the match I'm done with the match anyway you sure you prefer aren't you more comfortable there I thought it was in 15 minutes okay Okay, I'm done anyway, so you know. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, I'll see you around. Bye.